Hello, Divination, and welcome. In today's video, I'm going to share five tips on how to organize your blog content. So without wasting a lot of time, let's dive in and let's get started. All right, so for this tutorial to work, what you need to do is to first add some posts, because if you don't add some posts, then we won't be able to display the information that we need. So as you can see, I've added uh, four posts here. So I've just added an image, and in fact, let me show you. So all I've done here is I've gone in and I've just added some dummy text and also added a featured image. So this is what I've done to all of them. All right, so once that's done, the next stage now is to, to add the template. So this template can be found in the link in the video description below. Uh, this is a theme builder pack, which is absolutely free. So you can go ahead and use that. So I'm gonna come over here now to Divi and click on theme builder. So this is where we need to add our first template. So I'm gonna go now and uh, click here on portability, click import, and then I'm just going to drag my template in here. I'm gonna click import theme builder, and in fact, I'll just leave that as it is, and then click import theme builder template. So as you can see here, it's set to all categories, but um, ideally what we need here is to set this to blog uh, to blogs. So I'm going to come over here and set this to blog and then click on save. So now let's go in and customize this. So I'm going to click on this pencil icon. So this now is going to take us into our builder. So the first layout we're going to build here is a two column layout. So by default, it comes in as a three column layout, as you can see here. So to change our column layouts, all you have to do is to click here on the column structure. And then I'm going to go with um, this layout. So now you can see over here we have a two column layout and we still have this column here to add more information to. Now I'm gonna go into my row settings and go into my first column. So in here, I'm gonna click advanced and on the main element, in fact, we need to go to custom CSS and on the main element, we're gonna add this CSS code. So this now makes this 100%. So now all we need is to hide the column on the right. Remember our column structure had that extra column. So let's go back over here. And now we can um, go into the settings of this column and then click advanced visibility. And then we're just gonna disable this on all views. So phone, desktop, and tablet. All right, so we're gonna save that, save it one more time. And this is our column structure. All right, so we're gonna save this now. So now when we go on our blog page, you can see we have a two column layout. All right, so in this example, I'm gonna show you how to make your posts sticky. So what you need to do is to go into edit, into any one of your posts. And uh, over here, you can see we have stick to the top of the blog. So let's activate this and click update. And let's do it to one more. Now take a look at the featured image here. This is post one. And let's also do it to hello world. So I'm gonna click edit and do the same thing, make it sticky, click on update. Great. So now if we go to our blog page, you'll notice that those two articles are going to be the ones at the top. And there we go. So post one and hello world now become sticky and they're gonna stay at the top. So whatever you add will just be affecting the post here on the bottom, but these two will always be on the top. All right, so moving on in the next example, and this is number three, I'm going to show you how to use post offsets to organize blog content in separate sections. So I'm gonna click here on custom body. So that's gonna take us back into our builder. And uh, once the builder loads, what we need to do is to add another regular section. So I'm gonna click on this plus button, click on regular, and I'm gonna add a single column. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna copy the blog module here and paste it in place. So let's go in and make some updates to this. So I'm gonna click here on this gear icon. So on the post count, I wanna add three because what we need to do is to just highlight three um, articles. Next, I am going to go to elements and here we need to remove quite a lot of stuff. So show read button. So I'm gonna say no to that. No categories, no comment count, no accepts, no pagination, just the title 
and the exits here. Now it's time to add our offset number. So I'm gonna come over here to um, post offset. So this needs to be set to three because this is going to show like the three latest and then the rest are going to continue here on the bottom. All right, so you can see here our featured section here is taking shape. So what we need to do next to make this really stand out is to add a gradient color. So I'm gonna click here on background, click on the second tab and let's add our colors. So over here on the second color, I'm just gonna add Okay, let's go with that. Right, and then finally, what you can do is to play around with the gradient direction. And to be honest, I think that looks okay. So I'm gonna save. And now you can see we've highlighted our main blog posts and then on the bottom here, you know, it just continues as normal. So let's save this template. All right, so moving on, the next tip is to add a full width slider here at the top. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button, click on full width, and then I'm going to choose full width post slider. So over here on post for current page, we're gonna say yes. And for our post count, let's add three, cause you don't wanna have too many on there. So three is just enough. Now we can go in and uh, play around with our titles and our, and our font weight. So I'm gonna click here on design and uh, I wanna start here with the title. So I'm gonna to go to title text. I'm gonna change this to Lato, set it to bold. And for the text size, I'm gonna set this to 40. Now let's go to the body text size. So here on the body text size, we're gonna set this to 16. And let's go to the button text size. So to, in order for us to go in and customize that, we need to activate use custom styles for button. And we're gonna set our size here to 14. And we're also going to set our button text color. So for our button text color, I'm gonna click here on this eyedropper tool and paste my color in here. Now, if you wanna use the exact same colors as I'm using throughout this tutorial, I will leave a link to the post in the show notes below. Next, I'm going to add my color here. And uh, this color needs to be white. I'm just gonna drag this all the way up to white and we don't need a border for this. So I'm gonna remove the border and for the button font weight, we're gonna set this to bold and the font needs to be Lato as well so that it matches our design. So let's remove the border width here. Okay, there we go. So that looks much better now. So for the border radius, I think I'm gonna set this to about three and for the style, we're gonna make it all caps and then we're gonna save. So you can see now we've just added our slider and what you can do is you can go in here and disable the ones that you don't wanna show. So let's go to visibility here and let's just disable this top one that we've just done. Hit save and I'm gonna save this one more time. And when I refresh this, you can see now that we have our full width slider. Right, so moving on, let's add another layout. So what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna add another row. So I'm gonna click on this plus button and the column structure is going to be two equal columns. And what we're going to do here is to copy this blog module here. So I'm gonna right click, copy module, and then I'm gonna come all the way down here and paste it. Now let's go into the settings. So in here on the post count, we're just gonna say one. And then over here on the elements, we need to disable the pagination. So once we're done here, we're gonna save, and then we're just gonna duplicate this one here as well. Now for this, we need to go into the settings, and for the post offset, we're gonna set this to one. So we're gonna save here. Now we can either move these over here to the left. In fact, let's do that, this layout design. So I'm gonna move this one as well, drag it over here to the left. So what we need to do now is to copy this and paste it over here to the right and then make some changes to it. So I'm gonna go into the settings and this time we are going to disable the image. So I'm gonna come over here to elements and show featured image. We're just gonna get rid of that. And then for the post offset, we're gonna set this to one. And also here on the excepts, we're gonna say, we're gonna remove the excepts. So we're just gonna have the title and uh, just this description here. So now in the elements, the way it says show excerpts, we're gonna say no to that, no comment count, and we also don't want to show the pagination. So let's save this and let's duplicate this a few times. Now let's go into the second one here. And for our offset, we're gonna set this to two, save that. And then for this one here, we're gonna set the offset to three and save. And then finally, if you want, you can go in and you know change the background colors. So in this case, I'm just gonna leave this 
as it is, but this is another way you can lay out all your blog posts. All right, so in this last example, I'm gonna show you how to add your recent posts by category. So I'm gonna click here on this plus button to add a new column. So I'm gonna go with uh, one single column. We're gonna add our blog. And now let's make some changes to this. So over here where it says posts for current page, make sure it's set to no. And over here on the post types, notice that we have quite a lot we can add in here. So make sure it's set to posts. And then for the post count, we're gonna set this to three. And then this is where now you can choose your category. So right now I have uncategorized, so that's the only category I have, but I can choose whatever categories that I have if I've set them ahead of time. So there you have it. Thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to leave your questions in the comments box below and we'll do our best to respond to them. Until next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.